With the Paris Climate Agreement put to bed, climate mania seems to have died down for the time being. So I think it's time for a little dose of reality. Because it's getting colder and drier, and it's all because of the sun and the planets. You see, everything that happens on Earth happens in cycles. The only straight line is in man's mind. There are no straight lines in nature. Everything in nature is formed by spinning spheres or waves. So when you tell me that the temperature is going to go straight up, I become more than a little skeptical because nothing ever goes straight up and certainly not forever. Let's look at climate cycles over the past 11,000 years. The big picture. You can see on this diagram that we came out of the glacial period about 10,000 years ago. And then we had these up and down periods of warm and cold cycles. It's like a giant sine wave. Temperature moves up and down over time on a highly predictable schedule. Today, we're in what's called the modern warm period. And there's climate mania, even though it's been warmer on Earth many times before. In fact, the trend line shows it's gradually getting cooler because the sun is cooling. Nobody disputes that. Well, no astrophysicists at any rate. The next cold period is signified by the dark blue blob right below climate mania. It's starting now. But how do we know all this? Well, in the early 1900s, Dr. Raymond Wheeler, with a team of about 200 researchers, analyzed climate back about 20 centuries to 600 BC. He used tree rings and sunspot records to plot both temperature and rainfall over that entire period. He identified major climate cycles of 100, 170, 515, and 1,030 years. Now he predicted extreme weather at about the year 2000, followed by a turn colder and a long-term drought. And sure enough, that's exactly what seems to be happening. In fact, the global temperature has gone sideways since 1998. Oh, yes, it has. And the recent drop in solar activity is warning of a much colder time coming ahead. What's more, the head of the International Space Station, a Russian astrophysicist with a name I can't pronounce, has publicly predicted a mini ice age is on the way. Now, let's drill down to the most recent 4,000 years. This chart uses data from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. It comes from the Greenland Ice Core Research Project ending in 1992. Ice cores are an extremely accurate method of determining temperature back through the centuries. What's interesting about this chart is that it accurately supports all of Dr. Wheeler's cycles. You can see the large temperature peaks every 1,030 years, the red arrows. These extremely warm and wet periods supported bountiful crops so that major societies grew to the height of their power. Dr. Wheeler called it the civilization cycle. You can see the 172-year peaks as well, the orange arrows. In almost every case, the temperature turned colder at the 172-year mark. Now, 2007 was the most recent major turn date. But the other remarkable thing about this chart is the correlation with major civilizations. When the climate turns warm and wet for long periods, the world's greatest empires have emerged. Egypt, Greece, Rome, the Mayans, the Vikings, and so on. When the climate grew colder, these great cultures fell into ruin. Bad things start to happen when climate turns cold. Rome burned as it got colder. Hadrian's Wall was built to keep out invaders at the bottom of a cold spell. Social mood always turns negative with colder climate and that brings about riots and wars. Cold periods often get labeled as dark ages because there is little advancement in living standards. So here we are at the top of the modern warm period. Unless this time is different, the Earth is going to get a lot colder and drier, most likely for several hundred years. We'll also see a major financial collapse. Yeah, that's one of the great features of the 172 year cycle. It's happened throughout history like clockwork. So. We've spent billions of dollars on this climate mania for nothing, really. We had this information more than a century ago. The sun and the planets are the main drivers of climate change on our tiny little planet. We know that. We can't change Mother Nature. It's going to get colder and drier. There's no question about that. You see, history repeats over and over and over again. 
So if you want to know the future, you look at the past. But of course, nobody does that. They'd much rather program computers to try to simulate what they think is man-made warming. Meanwhile, just when we're going to need more energy and warmth, we have politicians trying to tax it out of existence and shut down coal plants. If we paid attention to cycles and history, maybe we could plan for the tough times every 172 years.